Scatter plots. They help us to see trends. Like that guy. Here's a scatter plot of money and problems. And as you can see, as money goes up, so too do problems. So it actually is true that mo money equals mo problems. There's some scatter plots that are really crowded. Others have multiple uh, sets of data and are crowded. Some are actually 3D. And of course, some are multiple sets and crowded and 3D. But we won't be dealing with those today. We'll be dealing with some simpler ones such as this. A park ranger measured some tree heights. And actually, I think we actually have some video of this park ranger doing this. Wow, I think that was really telling. The data is in the scatter plot shown. And if we were to do future estimates, should we use a vertical line, a line of best fit, a horizontal line, or a line of symmetry? As you can see, the data kind of takes a path like this green line. And it turns out what we need to use is a line of best fit. Okay, we'll be using that today with our scatter plots. Next, we have a scatter plot of new ristorantes in Kansas towns. That is an Italian word. I just wanted to say it, so I wrote it. Here's the scatter plot. And if we are to take a 2008 estimate, will there be 13, 15, 16, or 18 restaurants? So go ahead and do that. Otherwise, spoiler alert, line of best fit, you can see uh, the data takes a trend like that yellow, or sorry, orange line of best fit. In 2008, that is going to be 12 years after 1996. So what you do is you go up straight up from the 12 and you go over and you can see obviously uh, a good estimate would be 18 restaurants. Next, a scatter plot of weekly video game sales over a 20 week period at a store. Here's this plot. Week 25 estimate. Would you guess A, B, C, or D? Spoiler alert. You can see the data goes on a trend like that. Week 25, if you go straight up and over, you can see the obvious choice is D, $5,500. It's just an estimate. 